Hi everyone, this is Andy, your course facilitator. This first module is called the Knowledge Reduces Risk Step. So teachers in general live busy lives. It's challenging to keep up with the demands of the job, so keeping up with technology trends and programs can be, let's face it, overwhelming. However, it's increasingly important for us as teachers and as parents to make sure we keep our students and children safe from the many dangers of today's fast-paced technologies. The resources in this module are designed to do just that, provide tried and true resources to give you up-to-date information about the good and bad of technology. So I wanna just give you a little background as to why I chose the topic, Knowledge Reduces Risk. It wasn't uh, so long ago that I took a course on financial literacy, actually. It was when I was a new teacher, just new to the job. And I took a financial seminar, and in the seminar, the uh, speaker was talking about stocks and bonds and how to be a good investor, and he made the statement, knowledge reduces risk. And what he meant by that in the context of financial literacy is that the more you know about the company or the investment you're going to make, the less risk you're going to take with your money. So valuable and really kind of simple and straightforward concept. Well, the ideas in this particular, the resources that I'm going to share rather, are going to be along those same lines. They're going to be places you can go to find really good, high quality information about technology that can help you. Because again, we can't explore everything. And we as teachers, of course, as professionals, need to be careful about what we set accounts up for, but yet our students are bombarded with technology. So the resources you're gonna see on the Wakelet I've created, uh, one of my favorites that I'll just go through the top three and let you kind of explore the others on your own. But the first one is called Connect Safely. This is one of my favorite websites and it's a website I've been using for a long time. It's got a lot of great information and it's always pretty up to date. I mean, this is October 30, 2020. This is July 9th, 2021. I'm in July right now, so pretty up to date. So a lot of good uh, up to date information about uh, technology and, um, you know, again, in a positive way as well as a negative way. It shows us the good the, and the bad. What I really like is this guides area. So if you click on the guides area and if you go to either the educator's guides or the parent's guides, I think the parent's guides are really great for say open houses. You can uh, print them out as PDFs if you'd like for parents. That's always a good, I think, uh, good way to kind of share information to parents that uh, is quality. But I'm just gonna go to the educator's guides and you'll see there's all these guides here uh, the Parents and Educators Guide to Combating Online Hate Speech, uh, Parents Guide to Educational Technology, uh, Educators Guide to Creativity and Copyright. Let me just choose that one for an example. Again, you saw there's lots of different topics, but you'll notice that most of them, if not all of them, come up with a downloadable, friendly PDF, so you can read it and print it and, and look at it later. But some really good, relevant information about copyright, which is always an important um, Thing for teachers as well as students to understand and, and be a part of. But so that's the general basics of that one. Again, dig into that and uh, pay particular attention to the guides. The next one is called Common Sense Media. Again, another favorite of mine. It's been around for a long time. This is great for movie reviews, uh, apps, and games. So there's tons of great ideas here. So, for example, let me just say, well, let's just go to movies. So, if I wanted to do a movie review, Say you wanted to show a movie in your class and you wanted to get some information and you wanted to have some information to say uh, for parents. So this is one, uh, we'll take this kind of nice one here called the Christmas Dance. It's age 10 plus. It gives you kind of the reviews, the general reviews. But if I click on the continue reading, it's going to give me a more of a breakdown. And what I like is this section right here. So it tells me uh, positive messages is a three. Eh, okay, three out of five positive role models. The same violence is a two. Um, sexual content is a one. Uh, language consumerism, you can get the idea. But it also gives you a parent, what parents need to know. It'll give you some reviews from parents and students. And so it gives you kind of a really nice uh, overall review 
the good, the bad, and the ugly of videos, games, and apps, and even books. So a great place to go to get some ideas. And again, if a parent asks if you wanted to show this, say, at, at Christmas time um, or holiday time, you could provide the parents with some really useful information, I think, about the video and, and give them a chance to uh, digest that before you show it to your class. Then the other one is, again, one of my favorites is Net Family News from Ann Collier. She's been doing this blog for a long time. She always approaches it from a parent perspective. So I think she's um, that's quality in that case. Again, this is relatively new. We're in July, and it's July 2nd, 2021, when she wrote this post. So Ann is a super positive person, and uh, her posts, I think, are uh, thought-provoking and um, quality. And if you want to get in touch with her, she is really good about, um, you know, if you want to do an online presentation with her to talk about online safety, uh, she would be happy to do that. She's a really, again, a good person. And I should kind of throw that out there as she will absolutely do it. But I think um, she's a kind enough person and has time uh, to do that for you if you want to get in touch with her. You can just... Uh, Touch base there. Again, great person um, and I think a kind-hearted person. And then there's lots of uh, you know, good quality information about uh, technology. And again, she's a pro-tech person. So those are the top three I'd recommend. Feel free to check out some of these others. I'm always, um, I'm a big fan of the Make Use Of site. That's a general technology one, but there's some other good things. And uh, also, you might want to dig into this privacy identity and online security from the FTC. Uh, it's one of the federal government's programs, but it's excellent. It's a great website and it'll give you just treasure trove of, of really up-to-date information. And so again, feel free to kind of dig through these. Uh, this is an article from Tom's Guide, 10 apps to delete from your teenager's phone and uh, some to watch closely. So that's an article. It might be a little dated, but definitely worth checking out. So um, check into these resources and I hope they're helpful.